Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Sports Zone. I'm Nick Landy. And I'm Katrina Beck. Today we will update you on what's happening in ISU athletics and look at how Illinois Wesleyan men's and women's basketball did in their respective NCAA tournaments over the weekend. We begin with Illinois State men's basketball, who spent last weekend down in St. Louis at the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. ISU made it all the way to the championship game on Sunday to play Loyola, hoping to win his first title since 1998 along the way. Nick was there and he has a recap of the final game. Big Ten Men's Basketball Championship between Michigan and Purdue at Madison Square Garden. Early on, Purdue getting on the board as after the miss by Carson Edwards. It's Isaac Haas cleaning up the boards, getting the putback, and drawing the foul. Boilermakers up early, but Wolverines would dominate. They'd answer first with a dunk by John Teske, then later Xavier Thompson. Look at these nice crossover moves he's got right here. Faking out the defender, then finds Teske for the, for the land. Then Thompson has another assist here, this time to Mort Wagner for the jam. Michigan up 38 to 33 at the half. Second half, Wagner with the shot clock against him, hits the turnaround, and then it's Thompson to Teske again, who posterizes Haas with the dunk. And a day after beating Michigan State, Michigan goes on to defeat Purdue 75 to 66 to win its second straight Big Ten tournament championship. Welcome back to the Sports Zone. On the hardwood, there were many plays that stood out over the weekend, but we could only choose three for today's show. Here are our top plays. First, we go to the Big South Conference Championship game between Liberty and Radford. Time winding down. Who's going to be the hero? It's Radford redshirt freshman Carly Jones with the buzzer beater. The Big South Freshman of the Year hits the game-winning three and helps Radford lock up its first trip to the NCAA tournament since 2009. Radford wins 55-52. to 